Hey, man. Y'all gonna see what I think today. Linebacker in Tennessee. Ball till you fall out. If you fall out, you know you gain something. But ball till you fall out. It's not so much a position, it's an attitude. Y'all bring it today. Bring it, dog. Let's set the tempo, baby. No, 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 no. They pounded him. Tennessee defensive coordinator John Chavis coaches his core to get to the ball in a hurry and arrive in a bad mood. One, two, three, LB. The Philip Fulmer era has seen great players at linebacker at Tennessee. In 1993, Scott Gallion and Ben Talley were formidable and ferocious. They also went on to have productive careers in the NFL. In 1997, Leonard Little moved to linebacker from his defensive end spot. He was joined by Al Wilson and Radock Thompson. This trio accounted for nearly 50 big plays that season, including 15 sacks, 18 tackles for losses, and four caused fumbles. They were also a key in Tennessee's SEC championship as the defense held Auburn to one for 13 on third down conversions and minus 15 yards rushing in the championship game. Raynock Thompson and Al Wilson returned for an encore performance during the 1998 season. Eric Westmoreland joined the tandem as a starter, and that group had 27 tackles for losses, five fumbles recovered, and two interceptions. Wilson considered to be the heart and soul of a team that went 13-0 and won the national championship. All three were highly drafted by the NFL. Recent linebacker draftees include Eddie Moore, Kevin Burnett, Omar Gaither, Kevin Simon. Over a dozen Tennessee linebackers have made their way to NFL rosters during Philip Fulmer's tenure at Tennessee.